This tutorial will teach you how to select colors in Novamind for iPad. In various places in the inspectors you will come across color buttons like this. They are colored according to the selected color and have a dot in them. The dot is black if it is a theme color and red if it is a custom color. When you tap on the color button you are taken into the color selection panel. The first view you will see is the theme color selection. Theme colors are a set of colors and color variations that are designed to go well together. They are taken from the active color set so that if you decide to change to a different look you can just change the color set and all the theme colors will be updated to the relevant colors in the new color set. We recommend that unless you have a particular reason for wanting a custom color which will not change when you change color sets you should normally use theme colors. The selected theme color is highlighted in the panel. You can change the opacity of a theme color and as you can see in the color preview it still has a black dot so it is still a theme color and will be updated automatically if you change the theme or color set. If you are editing a color set, the opacity slider will not be shown since the defined colors for a color set must be solid colors and if you want to use opacity you do that when you actually use the colors from the color set. If it is relevant to the selected item there will be an option to select an automatic color. If you select automatic color the preview will be black with a white A in it. This tells you that it is an automatic color which is adjusted to contrast with whatever background it's drawn over. Normally you would want to use automatic coloring for items such as text so that it contrasts with the background that it happens to be drawn on at the time. If you decide to use a custom color there are three color spaces you can use. Hue, saturation and brightness. red, green and blue or grayscale. Once you've selected the color that you want, tap the back button to return to where you were previously.